You've already floored George. In the first round tonight, it's time to knock out another one. Welcome back to Celebrity Big Brother. We've got breaking news. Joan said yes to Dave. They're getting married. Okay, now, tonight, we're giving you an extra helping of eviction goodness. Aren't we nice? Earlier, you let George know exactly what you thought of him and unceremoniously uh, threw him out. And tonight, it's the final eviction before you get the chance to crown the winner of Celebrity Big Brother 2006. Fact. Now, as the housemates' thoughts turn to winning, ours turns to evicting. But nobody's told the house that someone else is about to leave. Oh, I forgot. Sorry. So I'm now going to talk to the house. Big Brother House, this is Davina. You are on Channel 4, please do not swear. What? Oh, oh pardon me. Just another one. Chantel. Yeah. <laughs> and Dennis. That's another one. The lines are closed, the votes have been counted and verified. Oh, wow. And I can now reveal that wow. the fifth housemate to be evicted Ooh. from the Big Brother house is... Bye, Shog. Bye, girl. Dennis, you have 30 seconds to say your goodbyes. I'm coming to right, get house. you. Right. Like Dennis. Oh, wow. Dennis. All right, bro. Peace. Take care. Take care. Yeah. So the other side, mate. All right, brother. See you Saturday. Oh, yeah. You get those string fellows now, Dennis. Oh, I got to now. You've got to go. Don't get too messy. We've got to go shopping. Okay, yeah. Huh? So, so we're Dennis. fucking dropping mm -hmm. off oh, oh, my God. 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 You have been evicted. Please leave the Big Brother house. I get it right. Now I'm ready.
Dennis, before we start the interview, I just want to let you know that I am married and I can't have sex with you. Oh, uh, okay, all right. That's no, cool. Dennis, I really, I can't. That's fine. Okay. She's a babe. What do you mean it's fine? That's fine. Well, sorry, yeah, I'm a babe, thank you. Right. Now, listen, Dennis. Yeah. Do you give a rat's ass that you've been evicted? Honestly? Honestly. Uh, no, not really. Be honest with you, no. Not even over Chantel, who's not even a celebrity. Well, you guys do something different over here. I heard something in, in the uh, in the house probably about a week ago, and uh, I think one of the guys said, um, um, you, you don't have to be famous to walk on the red carpet. Once you go on the red carpet, you're famous. That's exactly I, it. I, I don't get that. That's exactly I it. I don't get that. No, celebrity over here is kind of... It's kind of weird. It's weird. And it's whack. Now, can I just ask you one favour? <laughs> what? I just want to touch on you there. But could I ask you to take your hats and glasses off? Because I love hey! you that. Well, that, that's my criteria. I do Please. that. No, okay, you're married. Back just the you're glasses. married. Nope. Just the glasses? Nope. I'm keeping Come my, on. This is my so thing. So you can see inside your soul. Oh, you've been sending for three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> three weeks. Okay, maybe later on? Yeah, in maybe, the yeah. Not later on tonight. Yeah. <laughs> get myself out of a hole quick. Okay, now listen, Dennis. We have to do this. It's part of the show, but here are your nominations. He's disrespectful and rude, and um, I don't think he's got any manners. He doesn't know the meaning of please and thank you. He goes through these phases of uh, um, well, playing the game and to the extent of actually uh, coming at me a couple of times and uh, trying to play a psyching game. He's rude to Chantel, he's rude to Tracy, he's, uh, he demands, he clicks his fingers and gets food brought over to him. Were there any surprises there? No. Not really. Upset no. by anything? No. Nope. You saw that? No. Nope. Okay. Um, now, in last in the last week or so, you've got more involved in the house, like in arguments. You've before you've always kind of stood back yeah. and said, you know, I don't give a sh, yeah. um, <laughs> and all of that kind of stuff. But this last week, you've got a lot more involved. What changed? Nothing changed. You know, it's all about TV, right? And uh, this is a game. This is a show. And uh, just because I'm evicted uh, from the house. I'm still a star, no matter what. No matter where I go in the world, I'm still a star. I'm still famous. I don't give a damn what, what you guys think about me. I don't care. I'm here, here to stay. Yay. Now, what? what are, <laughs> Not, see, yeah, right. Calm down. <laughs> right. Um, but, but, but the thing is, is that I think that actually some of the time when you got involved in those arguments, that was from the heart. It wasn't just for the TV. No, it was wasn't it? TV. I mean, some of the TV, and uh, as far as like, uh, you know, you heard those those kids talking about uh, that I was rude and stuff like that. And uh, I, I just, you know, where I come from, I just speak from the heart, and people love me because I speak out. And uh, for Chantel t and and the other guy, whatever his name Preston. was, Preston, <laughs> <laughs> uh, for, this, for those guys that sit there and say I was rude, this, this, this. If you if you look at the uh, the whole 20 days uh, since I've been here, those two kids hasn't done anything. They haven't done anything. I mean, Michael has kissed her ass the whole time, and 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 Preston's trying to be Mr. Uh, Robin Williams, if he wants to be that guy, never will be that. And uh, Chantel, and uh, you know, like I said, why, why did you dislike them so much? I don't, I don't, I don't dislike anybody. I said from the beginning, but, I said, you well, know, not like them. I don't, I don't dislike anybody. And I said from the be beginning, I said, you know what? After the show's over, I take all you guys out to eat. I've said that many, many yeah, times. Yeah, no, you did. I thought that maybe after the last week, you might have taken that back a bit. No, no. You I did say to Pete earlier, like, oh, I don't want to stay in touch with any of these guys. No, it's just not that. It's the fact that, you know, I don't come to London as much. And uh, if I see the guys in the street and I say hello, you know, let's go have a beer and talk and just have a good time. So no, no grudges I have no, I have no grudges. I have, I have no grudge at all. You know, I just think that people want to do their thing. Now, <clears throat> would you say that you had a little bit of a soft spot for the ladies? No, I just do that just because, you know, I can be honest with you, you know, like I'm not trying to sound cocky or, you know, trying to bow, you know. I can screw anybody. So you're soft. <laughs> Not Davina, though. Not me, though. No, but you know, it's simple. Well, that, that don't mean none of me. <laughs> I say, did your soft spot turn into a hard spot? <laughs> I haven't been hard in three weeks. Really? Not even when you're sleeping? No. When you're sleeping? No. Have a look at this! I think if you look up the word sex or the word fuck, you see Dennis Rodman. I see girls. I'm surprised you haven't had sex with anyone in this house. Here, Tracy, Tracy, Tracy. What are you looking at, Dennis? 
Did Denise? he say to me earlier, I tried to have him sex. <laughs> Somebody's gonna have sex around here. No. <laughs> I shagged too many women. Pussy, 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 pussy. I made mean, a whole show about the pussy. Oh, yes. Oh. I see girls. I see girls. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, I was seeing real heat happening between you and Faria. No. No? No. Really? Because normally my love dar is absolutely spot on. I didn't really, get that. not even a little kind of. No, not at all. No, no, I would never scream. Kind of gave you a bit of a hard time. It's quite good. Huh? Any anybody else you fancy in there? No. 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 Who was the hottest woman in there for you? Well, I've seen Tracy. I've been knowing Tracy Bingham for like ten She's years. Hot. And my ex-wife Carmen, she was a, uh, one of our bridesmaids, and uh, you know Tracy dressed like that no matter what. So it's like the, all the girls in the U.S. dressed like that. So it didn't, didn't really do anything to me. I just had a good time. She's got a bodacious body. Well, that's her. It didn't do anything to you. No. I would pick to differ. <laughs> oh yes. Oh Tracy. Oh. Oh. Right. God, Tracy, stroke, stroke, stroke. <laughs> I uh, spanked that butt. <laughs> Dennis, I'm trying to see under those glasses if you're really annoyed. I'm or not, if no, you I'm not annoyed. That, or I if did. you thought that was quite funny. No, I did it on purpose. Oh, Dennis! <laughs> Uh, yeah, guys, guys, you, if, if you if she comes out, she'll tell you that we all we. It was five thirty in the morning when that. you woke up I know to that. pretend that you were having a no, dream. Because, no, because no, yeah. because Tracy was, you know, she was having a couple of beers all night. She came in at five o'clock in the morning, and said, "Oh, Dennis, 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 you know, I want to say something stupid." I said, "You always stupid, you know." But <laughs> you know, so it was, it was like that. So you can't say it's all good. It's more like we're just acting and stuff like that. There was something I wanted to say very early, uh, just a little bit earlier about you and Chantal and Preston. I think some. Sometimes there's a language barrier that you speak in a way that it's, it, English people might interpret as rude, but actually in America it's normal. It's normal for us. Do you know what I mean? I know. I just what? wanted to say that. Right now, um, what actually happened? You know, you and Tracy. When when you walked in and he, she went Dennis, and you went no 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 no. I was so sure. Little thing happening. Was there anything in the past? No, it's just says every time she sees me in America, where we go somewhere, I have to get Dennis. away from her because she's always like, Dennis! I said, well, I've got to go this way. You know, every, <laughs> every time, even though she's engaged to a guy and she's getting married to some guy. So, um, you know, every time she sees me, she gets all a little, you know, a little tipsy. And uh, she always thought, yeah, you know, so I like to probably run away from her all the time. Because <laughs> you were like literally running away. I was mm. convinced that there was history, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. No history? No. Uh, okay. No. Um, right, Dennis. Tell me what you think of your other housemates. Right. What do you think of George? I think George is a pretty cool guy. I think he's a pretty level-headed guy. I think he has his uh, priorities in, in the right spots. I think that uh, some some people think he's kind of like uh, a bigamist or this, this or that, but uh, he believes what he what he what he, what he, he talks about, and uh, I I I, uh, I appreciate that. He's a clear-talking guy. I think so. Michael. Michael, I think he's uh, dealing with some issues that uh, outside the house, I think he needs to confront those things. And uh, I think that the fact that he said that I'm a, bu I'm a bully, <laughs> no, it's not like that. I mean, he tried to test me a couple of times and uh, it, it wasn't going that way. I think that he has some issues that, uh, that left him in the past here. I think the thing sometimes with the misunderstanding about your use of language, which sometimes was quite, for, for the British public, was quite kind of OTT. Combine that with your size and the piercings, it's quite, it's quite, um, it's, you're a powerful man. So combine that with the language, it's quite frightening and intimidating. Would you, are you aware of that? Well, I can tell you one thing, like I said, I speak straight from the heart, I, I come straight at you. There is no way in God's green earth that I was going to be in this house to the last day because you got those two little kids in there playing this little toosie toosie whatever, and uh, and we're, everyone wants those people to win. So it's but like, do you hey, think great. they're just doing it for the cameras? Well, it's just that's their deal. That's their deal. Like I said, I don't think they are. I think it's. I think they like each other. Well, you know. I mean, and I don't think in that way. I think they just genuinely just get on like a really well, I mean, great friendship. You know, uh, I'm gonna shut my mouth. <laughs> so, you know, Dennis, so. please don't shut your mouth. We love it when you talk. Oh, yeah, okay, sure. let's move on. We'll move on. All Pete. Right. 
Talk Pete's, to me about Pete. I think Pete is a very unique individual. I think. You're yes. telling us. You know, I, I got along with Pete real well because I have a lot of friends like that, and uh, we, we got we got along real well just because he's very intelligent, and uh, I think he's got a raw deal over the years. But uh, that's his choice to be who you want to be. I have to say though, Pete sometimes stirred up emotions and then almost like wound up the box and then just sat back and watched everybody go. Absolutely. That's the way it should be. But you be. quite like that. I like that. Yeah. Cool. What about um, well, Preston and Chantal we've talked about? What about Maggot? Uh, I don't know what Maggot had going on he in the house. Went. I know. He, he was just there. I mean, Maggot's just there. <laughs> I don't know what he does. Uh, but he's he say, a nice guy. Uh, well, you know, you know I, I just say, you know, it's, it's all about picking the people that, that, that's, that should be in the house. I think if, if you're picking people just because they're here in London and they live here, I think that's kind of bush. Whatever. I don't so, think we would choose. So, no, you're allowed to say bullshit. Bullshit. I just say bullshit. So, bullshit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. Um, it's just the other one you're not allowed to say, but I we're know. not going to say that. Okay. okay. Um, so, what was your impression? Can I just quickly say there? I don't think we chose um, Maggot just because he's out of London. He's, he's, a, he's all right. He's from Wales and he's in a really cool band. Okay. Anyway, we'll move on. Um, what's your opinion of Big Brother? You don't want me to do that. Go on. You don't I want so me to do. do that. I do. I do. I do. Uh, it's I don't, okay. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I, I think that uh, they got a good thing going here. I think people, I don't know. I don't know if they're bored or I don't know if they need something to fill their, their days. I, uh, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> when I walked in the house, I was like, this is kind of. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, you know, so I was like, wow. I mean, I, I really signed up for this, huh? Hmm. But you but, know uh, what? Such great, such great watching I know but this is this see depends on how the producer uh, put it on the TV if the producer, the producer wants you to watch something that's a particular they'll mm -hmm. put it on TV they don't mm -hmm. show you the whole thing they just splice mm -hmm. it up and let you see but you know things. what there are people here that watch it all day yeah, I know. every day yeah I know yeah because it's just it's just fascinating watching anyway listen before you go one final question what's Madonna like in bed <laughs> Well, as I said before, she's just like any other girl I've ever had sex with. Was she good? She's got great boobs. You know what? And even after her kids, she's still got magnificent lils. And I have had children of mine not like that at all. Well, you know, like I, you know, like I said, you don't know me that well. And uh, I've, I've, I've had sex over almost 2,000 women in <gasps> right there. So. So, yeah. so I'm not, I'm not going to say like I'm not going to come up here and, and, and sugarcoat my, my life. Okay. My life is all it's an open book. And and Madonna, she's you know she's she's a, she's a very good looking woman, very successful. She is, and, and she's very sexy. And uh, you know she's she's one of many. You can't really remember, can you? So, <laughs> one in a million. One. So it's all good. Listen, Dennis. Yeah. Great watching. Uh, just show us your eyes, just quickly. It's all good. You'll just see quickly. Later. You'll just see quickly. Later. Just quickly. You'll see you later. Oh. Uh, Just so stubborn. Here, uh, your best bits. <laughs> Oh, Dennis. Oh, Dennis Rodman. Who the hell is Dennis Rodman? This is going to be comedy. <laughs> oh, bro. Should I call you Big Sister? We should have an orgy. Immensely vulgar. He believes that he can get any woman he wants. It's just obscene. Sexual predator. You know how many times that you came on to me? I never come on to you. I'd rather snog Pete than Dennis. Oh my god! Shut the fuck up! I'll tell these mother what the fuck to do with this goddamn show. It's always love you. He's a little fluffy kitten trapped in a big old black man's body. But you're that laughing, huh? You guys are just tripping out. I don't give a shit about that. I really don't give a shit. Well, I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. I don't really give a shit. Fuck you, I'm out of here. Everything's fine. She understands what the fuck I'm talking about. I don't give a fuck what the fuck she understands. We all need to understand what the fuck you're talking about. I keep wondering why I can't understand a word Dennis Rodman says. I thought it was like hellacious. We're in this house for a reason. Entertainment. <laughs> It is an all round cool cat. See you later. I think Dennis was smiling.
sitting under there. I think he was. Ladies and gentlemen, big round of applause, please, for Dennis. This is the moment all of the housemates have been waiting for. Who is going to walk out of the house on Friday as the winner of Celebrity Big Brother 2006? Okay, we've seen the housemates pretending to be pop stars, housemates pretending to be cats. They've fought, they've argued, they've cried, they've kept you and me on the edge of our seats. So how on earth are you going to decide the winner? But that is exactly what you've got to do. So, for Chantal to win, call 09011 323301. That's 09011 323301. For Maggot to win, call 09011 323306. That's 09011 323306. For Michael to win, call 09011 323307. 09011-323307. For Pete to win. Call 09011-323308. That's 09011-323308. For Preston to win, call 09011-323309. That's 09011-323309. And for Tracy to win, call 09011-323311. That's 09011-323311. Or you can text the name of the housemate you want to win to 84444. Okay, those, all of those numbers are for the housemate that you want to win. All right? So I'll see you uh, on Friday at 9 p.m. No, I'm not going to see you on Friday at 9 p.m. I'm going to see you on Friday at 8.30. Okay? For the final of Celebrity Big Brother 2006, see you then. Good night. I wonder why. Why? Really? No, not at all. Seems quiet now. God, I wish they'd turn those bulbs down. Oh, I'll run up. <coughs> oh, see you in the middle.